Hello and good evening. I am Shurujit D and you are watching my YouTube channel Econometrics D. Today we are going to study chapter 15 Perimeter and Area of class 6 and we are going to solve today exercise 15.2. So without wasting further time let's start the class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. Now, students, let us solve question number 7 of exercise 15.2. This is a continuation class going on, okay? And today's part is part 14, okay? So, what is the cost? Let us see what they have asked in the question. What is the cost of tiling a rectangular plot of land? So, you have to find out here what? You have to find out the cost. Cost of what? Tiling a rectangular plot of land. 150 meter long. So, how much meter long? 150 meter long and 120 meter wide. How much meter wide? 120. Now, wide means width and width means breadth. So, that means long means length. So, length is provided us and breadth is also given to us. So, we will write answer 7. Okay. So, L equal to how much? 150 meter and B equal to how much? 120 meter. You can write length of the rectangular plot of land equal to L equal to 150 meter, breadth of the rectangular plot of land equal to B equal to 120 meter like that also. Now, they are telling what you have to find out the cost, length and breadth of the plot is given at the rate of rupees 8 per square meter. So, what is the rate? rupees 8 per square meter that means for every square meter that is meter square the cost will be the rate will be rupees 8. So, how much square meter that much will be the total cost. So, for that let us understand by drawing the diagram ok. Suppose this is the rectangular plot of land ok and this is the length and this is the breadth. So, where you are going to uh, put the tiles, you are going to put the tiles inside, okay. So, the tiles will be like this one, another one, like this another one, like this way, okay. And for every square meter, the cost is what? 8 rupees, again 8, again 8, like this way it will go on adding, clear or no? So, and another way also to understand rupees 8 per square meter, square meter means you have to find out the area, understanding or no? So, let us find out the area, therefore, area of, suppose if I write rectangular plot of land. So, it will be length into breadth unit square, clear or no? Now, length is how much? 150, breadth is how much? 120 and meter square, clear? Now, we will multiply. So, here I will show you one trick. So, here 0, here 0, okay. So, put those two zeros here, clear? Now, what is left? 15 and 12. So, 15 and 12, you multiply. 2 fives are 10, 1, 2 ones are 2, 3. Again, 1, 5 is a 5, 1, 1 is a 1. So, 0, 8, 1. So, what you get? 1, 8, 0, 180. So, this is the area you got, okay? Area of what? The rectangular plot of land. Now, we have to find out the cost of tiling. So, how we will do? Let me rough this rough portion. So, cost of tiling will be what at the rate of rupees 8 per square meter. So, therefore, cost of tiling, 
okay the rectangular plot of land plot of land at the rate of now already in the previous classes i have told you at the rate of how to write a and circle it okay you have to circle it but here little bit gap should be there okay rupees 8 per meter square means 8 rupees for every meter square so it will be how much rupees 8 clear per per means divided by per every or rupees 8 for every meter square so meter square will be downside into the area area is how much 18000 so 18000 and here comes meter square now meter square meter square cancels so what you get rupees 8 into 18000 so that same trick we will follow here three zeros are there we will put the three zeros now 8 into 18 so 18 let me write first and then 8 8 8 is a 64 6 carry 8 1 is a 8 plus 6 14 so what you get 1 double 4 triple 0 that means 1 lakh 44 thousand so this is the answer clear now students if you like my channel then please give a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the all notification bell so that whenever I upload such videos you will get the notifications first okay now let us see question number 8 a floor is 50 meter long and 40 meter wide so one floor is there and the floor the length of the floor is 50 meter and 40 meter wide means the breadth of the floor so if i start solving answer so i will write l of floor okay l means the length of the floor okay so or if you don't want to write if you want to write the full thing that also you can write length of floor 50 meter clear like this also then breadth breadth that means the width width of floor is how much 40 meter so length and breadth they have told or given to us okay now if i want to draw the diagram okay suppose this is the rectangle okay and let me wrap this one so this is length and this is breadth clear now what they are telling a square carpet of sides 30 meter is laid on the floor on this floor one square carpet is there and it is 30 meter so let us draw one square carpet okay inside so like this way understanding or no like this way we will draw clear and this is the carpet a square carpet so square carpet means all the sides are equal clear and it is how much meter 30 meter that means this is 30 this is 30 this is also 30 this is also 30 okay and the length is told what 50 meter and the breadth is told what 40 meter clear understanding now they are telling that find the area of the floor that is not carpeted so which portion is not carpeted so this portion so this portion area you have to find out so how you will find first we will write each side of the square carpet and it is how much 30 meter clear and then 
I have to find out the area of the floor that is not carpeted. So, therefore, area of the floor that is that is let me write nicely that is not carpeted ok. So, how to find out this portion? So, the area of the rectangle from that if I subtract the area of the carpet I will get the area of the that portion which is not carpeted clear no. So, area of rectangle or rectangular floor ok clear no minus area of square carpet clear area of rectangular floor minus area of square carpet clear no if you do not want to write rectangular floor also ok no problem ok only you can write area of the floor. Now, area of the rectangular floor what is the formula length into breadth and what is the formula of square carpet of a square that means side square clear. Now, we will put the values. So, this is how much 50 meter into this is how much 40 meter minus side is how much 30 meter and then square clear. Now, we will multiply 50 into 40. So, we will use that trick double 0 we will put and 5 is left 4 is left. So, 5 into 4 20 2000 and meter into meter meter square. Now, minus again 30 meter square ok then 30 we will multiply 2 times 30 into 30. So, here also we will apply that same trick. So, see 2 zeros are there you will put 2 zeros. Now, what is left 3 3. So, 3 3 is a 9. So, 900 meter square. Now, we will subtract. So, 2000 minus 900. So, 2000 if you subtract 900. So, double 0 comes here 2 you cut borrow 1. So, 10 10 minus 9 1 1. So, what you get 1 1 0 0 meter square and this is the answer always try to highlight the answer clear or no. So, those who have not watched the previous parts you can watch it I have shared the link in the description box below as well as in the i button. And also students you can go to the playlist section and there I have uploaded class 6, class 7, class 8, class 9 and class 10 videos. So, from there you can select and you can watch the videos part by part so that you can understand that particular chapter nicely ok. So, now question number 7 and question number 8 is over you can keep on practicing the sum again and again. So, that you can solve it in the exam smoothly understanding or no. So, thank you for watching my video keep smiling bye bye.